Ah, oh, g'day. Um, permaculture is a quite interesting thing. It's uh, People think it's about gardening, but I must admit I don't spend much time in my garden, yet our pro property here is uh, quite a, a permaculture-focused property. And uh, I'm in the cow yard area here, and, and uh, from the cow yard goes the biodigester, the methane gas biodigester, and when you're running a property, you always seem to be uh, only getting things done in stages. And I haven't done anything with the biodigester for probably a good six months, maybe not that long, but but uh, it's good, it's functioning. We're getting methane gas and uh, we're getting composted material, or compostable material from it. But it's time to get it to the next stage. Um, not a good time of the year to be doing stuff with this because we're in a rainfall higher than evaporation, so we've got uh, a lot of planting to do and also a lot of uh, chop and drop to do but I'm always trying to keep things moving so it's Sunday it's a, a quiet day on the property and tomorrow we'll get stuck into the planting and the chop and drop when the volunteers and the students are back on board uh, so today is my chance to just get something ready for the next move next stage uh, in the development process and uh, one of the steps we need to do this pad here is the is one it will be a human it will be a human toilet it's a so the human ewer will be going into the biodigester as well and i want to get a, a step further in, with this i'd like to get this built there's another one to be done on the other side it doesn't have the pad put in yet so i'll be trying to get that established too soon but what i might try and do this week in in between uh, Late in the afternoon, I'll come and do a little bit more here while the, the students are wrapping up for the day with the animals and I'll have a moment or two. And we might just do a little concrete pour. Now, people say concrete's not a good thing, uh, but function, for functionality, uh, concrete's very handy, otherwise I'm continually weeding. And uh, we do have snake issues and we've got people and so we have to be careful with that. Uh, but the concrete I'm doing here, I'm, the, the embodied energy is going to be over a long period of time. Uh, I don't intend to be removing this concrete for 30 years or, or something like that. It's, it's, um, so, yes, it, it's a lot of fossil fuel energy in, in, involved in it, but it's also going to be over a long period of time. So I don't feel guilty about that. It's, uh, ethically, I feel okay with that. So, yeah, today I'm just uh, tidying this up, getting it ready so when we have a... a to our window, we'll come in and do some a little bit of cementing and get this place a little bit more presentable. And uh, because people come to see the biodigester uh, when we do farm tours, uh, people like to see the biodigester and the uniqueness of it. Uh, not too many people have a methane gas biodigester using the methane gas to to cook their food. Um, it, it's uh, functioning and and we're quite happy to have it. And and uh, actually, we're very happy to have it functioning um, I just want to get it a little bit more presentable um, so it's time for the next stage so what is the next stage I would like to get the toilets in in uh, process uh, to show that side of it it's not a necessity to get the toilets functioning uh, because we are we're doing the human your compost toilet system uh, and we're also at the moment setting up the pad uh, the pads down we've got to put up the walls we're going to do a, a a place instead of just a pile on the ground we're going to actually have a, a like a cubicle I guess is the word place to put the human ewer so um, that works but I would also like to get the methane gas side of it working as a demonstration and um, when we get at the moment uh, we have to empty the human ewer every day but if we get this side of it this the biogas uh, biodigester side of the human ewer working we won't have to empty the compost toilets every day because people will be using these uh, instead of the compost toilet so much. So um, that'll just give us a little bit more time uh, in the, the routine chores of the day. We might only have to do that every second day instead of every day with the, with the human newer composting toilet process.